Grace and peace. I am Kimberly Joy, and I thank you for tuning into the Kimberly Joy Show. And God, I thank you. I love you. I praise you. I magnify your holy name. I exalt you. Lord, you are great and greatly to be praised. You are God alone, the only true and living God. And I am honored to know you. I am honored to be called your daughter, God. God, I thank you for this day, for this broadcast. I thank you for every man and woman who is tuned in right now, God. Lord God, I pray that as they listen to this message, God, you have given me to share with them. I pray, God, that they are encouraged, God. I pray, God, that they each receive exactly what they need in the name of Jesus. Lord, we all have different needs. Hallelujah. But God, you can meet every single one of our needs. And so I am asking you, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, to meet their needs. Hallelujah. Lord God, you're awesome. You're wonderful. You're magnificent. You're holy. And again, I love you and I thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have an announcement. Our church, Power and Faith Ministries, we are having a concert tomorrow. Power and Faith presents in the midst of a pandemic praise. It is tomorrow, Saturday, September 26th at 5 p.m. The doors open at 430. It will be at Power and Faith Ministries. 8120 Hamilton Avenue at the Hilltop Plaza in Mount Healthy, Ohio. The artists include Greg Lattimore and Power and Faith, Kim Walker and Vision, the legendary Soul Redeemers, One Blessed Spirit, Restored, Ramiko Lattimore, Jerome Johnson, Anton Porter, J. Ant Anderson, David Cartwright, Dante Mackey, and the New Generation Praise Dancers. And that mission is free. Also, something I forgot to share the previous weeks. For those who won't be able to attend or who just don't feel comfortable attending in person because of the pandemic, then you may see it live. We, we, we will be streaming the concert live on our Facebook page. That is, it should be facebook.com slash power and faith ministries. So if you're on Facebook, but even if you're not on Facebook, all you have to do is type in facebook.com slash power and faith ministries. And for those who are on Facebook, then just go to our Facebook page and that is power and faith ministries. And we thank you. Romans 12 and 1 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Here at the beginning of Romans chapter 12, the Apostle Paul was beseeching or urging the brethren, that is the other believers there in Rome, his brothers and sisters in Christ who were in Rome. He said, consider the mercies of God. Ah, Consider the mercy God has shown you. Consider that God has forgiven you of your sins. Consider that God has extended his love to you. As John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world. God loved the world and he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. So with that in mind, in fact, keep that in the forefront of your minds. Don't take it lightly. Don't take his love for granted. And so in considering that, present your body or offer your body as a living sacrifice to God. Now it says living because God's not asking us to kill ourselves in his honor. No, but while we are living, while we are living and breathing, we are to each offer ourselves to God. Uh, by honoring him in everything that we do. Yes, in everything. In fact, it reminds me of a song that I used to sing when I would have my quiet worship time. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I will be a living sanctuary for you. As the song says by Offering ourselves to God, we are choosing holiness. First Peter 1 and 16 says, be ye holy for I am holy. I am holy. Who is holy? 
God is holy. Henry C. Feast, and I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he was a 20th century Christian educator and author. And he explained the holiness of God like this. God is absolutely separate from and exalted above all his cre creatures and creation. And he is entirely separate from all moral evil and sin. When we accepted Jesus into our hearts, those of us who are saved, he forgave us and cleansed us. So now we are to live holy. That is separate from evil and sin. We are to be separated from that. He has separated us from that. And so we are to remain separated from evil and sin. We are not to be like people who don't follow Christ, like those who live in sin. Instead, we are to live our lives in a way that is acceptable to God. Why? Well, at the end of verse Romans 12 and 1, Paul says it's your reasonable service. Huh? Reasonable meaning fair, sensible, appropriate. Because of God's love for us, it's only fair. It's only appropriate that we serve him, huh? That we live in a way that we know pleases him. Now, when I think of reasonable service, this is my own interpretation. It's the least I can do, huh? To serve the Lord is the least I can do. To live for God is the least I can do. Considering his mercies, his grace, his love is the least I can do. Sometimes, and I believe sometimes we make the mistake of acting like God owes us something. You know, based on our actions, our attitudes, our words. For instance, God didn't answer my prayer. God allowed my loved one to die. God let me lose my job. So I'm not praying anymore. I'm not praising God anymore. I'm done going to church. In fact, I'm going back to the old life I used to live. We treat God like he is a genie in a bottle or, or Santa Claus. But no, God is our creator. God created us for his purpose, not for ours. Remember, after Adam and Eve sinned, mankind became corrupt. So Jesus came as a human and he died on the cross for our sins so that we could be restored back to our original state. And that is being and living in the image and likeness of God. So we are here for God. As I mentioned the other week, we are here on earth right now to serve as God's representatives. It's not the other way around. God is not representing us. We're representing God. So again, God does not owe us anything. Oh my God. We owe God everything. We owe God our service. huh? We owe God our devotion. huh? We owe God our praise. We owe God our worship. Ha, oh, my God. And you know what? Something that I want you to remember. This is most important for you to remember. To live for God is the truest form of worship. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. If you're ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried. And I believe you rose again from my liberty. Please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Uh, thank you, Lord. I am now saved. Now, I encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to our church, Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. We are at 8120 Hamilton Avenue at the Hilltop Plaza in Mount Healthy, Ohio. Sunday service, 10 a.m., Wednesday Bible study, 7 p.m. And if you're not able to attend, we, you can, we do stream our services live on Facebook. So again, just look for Power and Faith Ministries Facebook page. To contact me, please email the Kimberly Joy Show at gmail.com or call 513-417-417. 0097. Now, again, tomorrow is our concert. And so one of the artists or one of the directors, I should say, is Ramiko Lattimore. So here is Ramiko Lattimore and TWC with great praise. 